Welcome, sports fans, to another edition of Blade Right TV, where we give you the latest on the greatest in sports. This is Kinito Hanson, and with me... Hi, I'm Diane Castillo. Oh, thank you so much for joining us again here on Blade Right. We're so excited because we have um, amazing knockout guests, literally. Right, Kinito? That's right. Um, Diane, this is historic because this is the first time two fighters who are going to go up against each other will be featured in this show in a face-off. Right. And uh, <laughs> we all know that December 11 is coming soon. And the big fight for the WBC Bantamweight Championship between the defending champion Nonito Jun Donaire Jr. and the challenger, a mandatory challenger, Raymar Gabaldio. They're both with us in this episode, plus okay. an added attraction June Donaires, manager and trainer and wife, Rachel <laughs> Donaires is also with us, and mm -hmm. Raymond Caballo's manager, JC Manangil. Oh, we've, we've got an action-packed discussion coming up because we want to find out how both these guys are preparing for the big fight. December 11, we don't know where it's going to be. We'll ask the guys later on. But, uh, you know, before anything else, Diane, let's ask June Donaires first his initial salvo, and then we'll go to Raymar, we'll go to Rachel, and then we'll go to JC Manangil. June, the floor is yours. Well, we're very, very grateful for this opportunity. Um, at Chaka, you know, we were training very hard, and I know uh, Raymar is training very hard. And the, the beauty of, of all of this is, maganda nga to eh, dalawang Pilipino, and kung sino manalo, Pilipino pa rin yung champion. So, I think this is a good thing for for the Philippines. Uh, lahat po ng ng ano uh, tayo po ay mananalo uh, kung ano man yung decision or ano man yung uh, may gaganap sa laban. Uh, we're still gonna win. So I think um, we should just give all the support um, for 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 the fighters, uh, including uh, Raymart. You know, um, kasi we he made it to the point na naging mandatory po siya, and here I am being the. Uh, the defending uh, champion, um, yun nga, I think uh, it's a very good uh, time uh, na for for uh, Philippine boxing. And, and I'm very, very proud na dalawang Pilipino ay lalaban in the world stage. Raymar, ikaw naman, anong pakiramdam mo? Ito, nakikita mo si June Donaire, kasama natin dito sa show. Um, first time may yata makikita siya na parang face-to-face -face kayo. Anong masasabi mo tungkol dito sa darating na laban? Uh, ano po talaga sir, uh, I'm excited po ako at saka masaya na makakalaban ko po yung may, ano po, um, isa sa mga idol ko po sa boxing sa Pilipinas. So, excited po talaga ako na makalaban talaga po. Okay, maraming salamat Ray Mark. And Rachel, your initial thoughts about this upcoming fight. This is the seventh time in boxing history the two Filipinos are going to be engaged in a world championship fight. And we're talking back in the 1920s when Pancho Villa and Clever Sancho fought. And then we had William Magahin and Irvin Villaver. We had uh, Donny Nietes and Palikte. We had Ancas and Sultan. We had Taduran versus Cuarto. Uh, and then we had Paradero and Saludar. So this will be the seventh time in boxing history. This is historic. This is monumental. Rachel. Um, I think it's amazing because, uh, you know, young, uh, American broadcasting uh, uh, showtime is picking it up at the, uh, I think this is monumental because um, uh, from where, you know, where the Mexican fighters uh, were starting to get showcased. This is our, our chance uh, to be in front of uh, um, the American public and showing that, you know, Filipino matches um, against Filipinos can be done because it showcases the talent of uh, all the Filipinos. Okay, and JC Manakil, a manager ni Raymart Gabalio. By the way, si Raymart is in Miami, and right. June Donaire and his wife are in Las Vegas. JC, you're in General Santos, right? Yes, sir. Oh, naman uh, Everything good. Um, you know, we're getting ready now then uh, to go to uh, United States in a couple of weeks to, uh, to meet with up, meet up with Raymart. Nice. Okay. Um, 
there a very venue? exciting times. Diane. Is there a venue ready for the fight? Do we have a, a place uh, in date? I, uh, I think I heard it's in Carson. I'm not sure. I think. But I think I last time I heard was, uh, the fight's in Carson. On December 11th. About, um, that's what we heard as well. Um, so uh, that's that's uh, that's where we're preparing for, or, or uh, um, where well the, the fight's gonna be. Yeah, yung uh, yung contract was it was stated that the decided uh, venue, of course, tentatively of, with all their business negotiations, would be Carson's at Dignity Health, where he fought uh, May 29th. Right. So alam na so. Hey, Rayma, you're 25 years old. Uh, Nanito, 38 years old. Nanito, you have 41 fights plus. Gabalio, 24 and 0. You're both known for your power. Sabi mga Raymart na lalabanan mong isa sa mga idolo mo. Paano mo, paano sa tingin mo makaka-measure up ka kay Nanito? Yung power mo ba sa tingin mo? I'm sure you watched all his fights. Oh po. Ah, uh, hindi po ako ano uh, bali po ma'am um, para sa akin po eh gagawin ko lang po talaga kung anong makakaya ko sa ibabaw ng ring po. Yan lang po. <laughs> All out 100%. Um Nanito, you know he's got youth on his side. Of course, you've got loads of experience and you you know you fought so many so many different types of fighters, world champions, and, you know all the all the changes that happen in your fight, your sport, Casimero, and all this. Now fighting Gabalio. How are you preparing for this fight? Ah, uh, yun lang din po. Um, uh, nagtitrain po ako ng gusto. Uh, parang parang inisip ko rin na na yung pinakamagaling sa division ang nakakalabang ko sa December 11. So nagtitrain po ako na na the best na mako na makaya ko uh, para maibigay ko lahat uh, for the December 11 fight. Rachel, power versus power. I mean, of course, you've been right beside Nonito's power, and you've probably seen uh, some of Raymart's fight. How how would you how would you um, measure up the two fighters against each other? I think it just really depends on yung game plan, de ba? Because yung power doesn't do anything walang if walang proper game plan, your strategy. So um, I think both are going to come with, of course, their, both of their power at the, whoever comes with the better strategy in the, uh, during fight night is the one who's going to be victorious. You know, I wanted to ask uh, June Donaira this question. Um, earlier, Diane said that uh, Raymar is 25. You're 38 years old. There's a wide disparity in terms of age. I was looking at the records when you turned pro in 2001 and you've been a pro for 20 years. Raymart Gabalio was five years old. <laughs> <laughs> and when Raymart Gabalio turned pro in 2014, June, you were already a four time, four division world champion at the point when Gabalio turned pro. I mean, the experience is just amazing, the, the, the difference. Although Gabalio is undefeated, um, June, you've got experience on your side. You know what it takes to win in the ring. This challenge that Gabalio presents to you on December 11, how serious is this challenge for you? Yun nga po, um, uh, nagtitrain po ako na, na parang ang makakalaban ko ay yung pinakamagaling sa, sa division. Um, I don't I, I always look into the point uh, from this point on that I'm fighting the best guys out there. The, the hungrier, the, the, the more dangerous that they become. Alam ko na, na si Gabalio ay, ay very talented, malakas at uh, magal, maganda yung record niya. And he's hungry uh, for, for success. And alam ko na yung, tipong, yung type na, na, na pagkatao yung mga ganun ay... I uh, are a very dangerous, dangerous fighter. At kaya nga po ay, ay um, ginawa ko lahat to reverse time, to be healthy, to be strong, to lahat lahat po ng ng makakaya ko na ma ma hundred percent pa ako sa loob ng ring. And 
by the time na doon na ako, ako sa ring ay 39 years old ako. <laughs> so. Ray Bart, ikaw naman. Yung preparation mo diyan sa Miami. Marami kang mga kasama diyan. Sino-sino ba mga kasama mo diyan na uh, naka-stable mo uh, sa Sandman? At uh, yung trainer mo na Cubano, si Moro Fernandez. Kumusta naman siya? Uh, alam ko medyo malaking tao siya, no? Nangangayaya ta ba siya sa kaka-training sa iyo o hindi? <laughs> Uh, ano pa nangyayari dyan sa Miami, Raymond? Uh, bale, lima po kami Pinoy dito. Si John Vincent Moralde, Mike Plania, uh, Mark Ber- Bernaldez, at saka si Romero Duno po. Uh, si Coach Moro naman po, eh, steady pa rin po sa kanyang kalaki. Bale, ayaw niya siya pumayat. <laughs> <laughs> yung preparation niya, naman, sabi, Raymond. Sabi niya, yung... kapag pumayat na siya, well, stop na lang boxing. Ano yung mga ka-sparring mo dyan? At saka, ilan na bang rounds na na-spar mo? Uh, right now, December 11 pa yung laban, anong condition mo? Nasa 70% ka na? Nasa 80%? Anong feeling mo sa sa condition mo? Uh, Bale po, nung dumating pa po talaga ako dito sa Miami po, eh, todo na po yung pag insayo namin simula nung August. So, anda, para sa akin po, anda po talaga ako. Uh, JC, Ray Mart is in Miami. You've got your other boxers in Miami training with Moro Fernandez. How did that partnership come about? But Miami ay napili mo? At uh, malaking bagay ba ang pagtutulong at pagtitraining ni Moro Fernandez sa mga boxer ng Sandman? Ah, uh, yep. Uh, I met uh, Moro like mga uh, eight years ago na siguro, nine years ago. And nung kami nag-start working and uh, and I visited his gym. And nakita ko how the the Cuban boxing uh, school works. And nagustuhan uh, ko yung training nila and that's why we, we, we deal kami and I sent Ray Mart and all the guys there. So, yun. That's, kaya after that, tuloy-tuloy na yung mga boxes na pinadala ko doon and, our partnership. JC, how do you feel that Raymond is going to have his big chance to win the WBC Bantamweight Champion against a fellow Filipino? Uh, yeah. Uh, nag-uusap naman kami ni Raymond. Uh, I know, uh, sabi niya nga, idol na si Nito. And uh, he's always been an underdog the whole, his whole career. At yung amateur siya, yung nag-pro siya, hindi siya ganun kagaling ng amateur and nag-pro siya. And, uh, and uh, yung mga yung mga twice as yung like interim title fights and always underdog and walang difference ngayon but he loves being an underdog and makes makes him hungrier and you know fight harder so I'm very confident with Raymart So Raymart pwede mo bang i-share sa amin kung ano yung mga ilan lang sa mga uh, sinasabi sa yon ng coach mo pag training mo kasi it's very difficult to be fighting against a Filipino na idol mo pa diba? so can you make us kwento kung ano yung mga sinasabi niya sa iyo at ano yung give us an idea sa iyong routine diyan are you doing uh, pinakamahirap na training ba ito na nagawa mo na to prepare for Donaire uh, bali ano po talaga dito sa amin noon eh. Kumbaga, yung si coach, eh, sabi lang na focus lang ako sa fight. Kung ano, ano ba talaga. <laughs> But, bigay todo. Sige. Ano, paano mo sinasayik yung sarili mo? Kasi kumbaga, di ba, pag usually, pagkaharap mo yung idol mo, parang, wow, talagang hanga ka. Pero, how are you going to beat him? Uh, basta po, eh, pag nasa ibaba na po ako ng ring, eh, ginagawa ko po talaga yung best ko para manalo po sa laban. Ala, uh, la, la, sa lahat po ng mga laban ko sa ring, eh, ginagawa ko po talaga yung, ano ko, yung best ko. Sa yung mga dati, yung underdog talaga pero okay lang. Wala akong problema dun. Sa lahat ng fight na napanood mo ni Nonito, alin yung hmm. pinaka impressed ka sa laban niya at bakit? Yung kay Monchel. Kay Monchel. Monchel. Uh-huh. Mm. 
Isa yan sa mga pinakamagandang showing ni June Donaire eh, nung pinatulog niya si Montiel. Um, nanginginig pa yung ano, yung paa ni Montiel nung bumagsak siya. Um, yeah, that was a, an, an amazing victory uh, for June Donaire. But you know, Raymond, yung matagal ka, matagal ka nang hindi nakakalaban. Yung last fight mo was uh, one year ago, in December din. No? Uh, nakalaban mo si Emmanuel Rodriguez. Split decision ang pagkapanalo mo at nakuha mo yung interim WBC Bantamweight Championship. Subalit yung WBC, nag-order sila na magkaroon ng rematch. Um, Ewa ko lang kung bakit, because napanood ko nila pag talagang mukha naman nanalo ka, no? Pero nagkaroon ng order ng rematch, hindi naman natuloy. Yung one year na hindi ka lumaban, katigin mo, advantage yun kasi nakapagpahinga ka o disadvantage kasi matagal ka ng wala activity. Ano sa tingin mo, Raymar? Uh, para sa akin, sir, kahit na hindi ako nakalaban ng isang taon, sir, eh, patuloy din naman po ako sa pagtitraining ko, sir, so... Okay lang po sir para na sir. Hindi, 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 hindi po ako nagpapabaya. Okay. Uh, we go back now to June Donaire. Um, June, you and Ray Mark have fought one common opponent, Stefan Young. You knocked him out while Ray Mark decisioned him, but Ray Mark was able to knock him down. Um, is that a gauge? You know, when you're looking at uh, the performance of both fighters, a lot of times you look at the common opponents and then you find out how both these fighters have gone or have fared against his common opponent. Um, is that a gauge at all um, in reviewing what Gabalio has done in his career? Hindi uh, po. Um, it's more of, it's more of, kasi uh, ibang style po yun, no? Ibang style and you know how they say uh, fi- uh, style makes fights. Iba-iba yung fight. At uh, nakita naman natin yun sa history, no? With with Hagler, Hearns, Hearns, uh, Leonard, Duran, lahat po sila, di ba? Um, iba-iba yung mga outcome kahit natalo nila, nanalo yung isa. Parang ganun po. At uh, yun po ay, ay um, iba talaga yung, ang ini ang ini-studio lang namin is yung uh, paano yung, yung galaw niya, uh, yung mga suntok niya, yung mga ganun-ganun po. At uh, yun lang po ang ang tinitingnan namin uh, going back and comparing myself with Ste- Stephen Young and yung laban niya kay Stephen Young malipong strategy strategy po yun at uh, kung 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 may may study man kami diyan uh, yung nga uh, yung mga movements niya at saka yung mga galaw niya at, sa, at saka yung mga tendency po niya but June um, just a question about how you managed to bring down your weight from fighting as a featherweight to bantamweight ikaw lang yata sa buong kasaysayan ng boxing sa mundo, nakagawa nun. Nandun ka na as world champion sa featherweight, bumaba ka sa bantamweight, nakuha mo din yung world championship. I don't think it's ever been done that anyone has gone down so many weight levels to win a world championship. Alam natin marami mga boxer, kagaya ni Manny Pacquiao, na umakyat. Pero ikaw, yung disiplina na pinakita mo para bumaba ang inyong timbang to be able to get a championship at the bantamweight division all over again. What did it take, um, Nonito Donaire? And uh, what kind of mental conviction did you have to make this happen? Uh, yung nga po ay um, disiplina lang po. Talaga, disiplina. And hindi lang sa disiplina, parang lifestyle na po yun. Uh, parang uh, lifestyle na kung ano man yung kakainin namin, yun lang po ay this my discipline doon um the constant training na araw-araw pag parang hindi ako maka-training uh, parang kulang yung araw ko so um with that um oh, at saka yung physical body ko po ay talagang malit po talaga ako mapayat po talaga ako kumpara, kumpara sa featherweight uh buti nga na nanalo ako ng featherweight kah- kasi ma- malaki talaga sila doon at uh, nung na-realize ko yon na na tumatanda na rin yung yung katawan ko uh, bumaba po ako ng timbang to where i really belong ito po yung pinaka ka, uh, malakas po ako dito because of the fact na ito po talaga yung timbang ko you know Diane, you might want to ask about this new show that Rachel and June Donaire have put out on YouTube it's a show called Beyond the Ring and you know i've watched some of their shows 
They're really, really entertaining. It's really beyond the ring. They're talking to Batista. They're talking to different celebrities. Um, Diane, you know, you're yeah. the one who's, who, who knows all about interviewing celebrities and all of that. <laughs> you might want to ask them about what's going on with this new show. Uh -huh. of the so who comes up with the concepts, the ideas, and tell us sa mga hindi pa nakakapanood, what's... What's Beyond the Ring all about? What can we see there? Rachel, is it your idea? Well, yung content ako, um, of course, like sometimes we go completely left at uh, we don't follow yung script talaga. Kasi, like I think, um, yung, yung first bid, the butler at C. Casimiro, like that wasn't scheduled. Like we had a an actual schedule for that night, diba? Yes. And then yung news flash came on, and then so parang we just did yung um, impromptu um, vlog on what was announced uh, sa WBO. At um, pero yung 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 guests, because we're friends with a lot of them. At uh, yung interviews are usually very bland, same questions over and over again. We kind of wanted to just have them have an outlet that they can talk about something that not everybody asks or not everybody knows about yung life nila. I think about Beyond the Ring is, uh, for me, ginawa ko yung Beyond the Ring because I want to inspire uh, mga Pilipino at saka lahat ng mga tao na, 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 na nanonood sa, sa, ano, namin sa live and, and our content. At saka to inspire them and, and motivate them na makakaya din nila. Kaya nga, sometimes, minsan, may mga topic kami about health, may topic kami about manifestation and meditation, may topic kami na coming up right now about crypto. Kung yung mga, yung mga tao na hindi na alam yung mga crypto, this is the time na malaman yung crypto, para ano yung crypto, what, what is the best place, what is the best place to put your money, kung saan-saan mo, uh, uh, when to take it out, or, or mga ganun po. Just a knowledge for people to understand and be part of the world. Kasi... Yung mga, mga kaibigan ko nga talaga is they have power. They have, you know, the, the guys that's coming in with this, you know, is, is there, he's called in the crypt, crypto world as the crypto king. At saka Pilipino rin, at kaibigan namin. So, yun po, ay, uh, yung mga ma-share ko at ma-ibibigay ma sa mga tao natin na the knowledge of the world. No? Hindi, lang, hindi lang na na naririnig ko ganito, ganyan. And it's more about clarification and knowing and understanding uh, with clarity. Na ito yung ito yung ito yung gagawin nyo, ito yung dapat gawin nyo. Uh, just a knowledge of, of understanding lang po ang, ang gusto namin ibibigay. And of course, to, to all the fans na nag, nagbibigay sa amin ng uh, um, support talaga from 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 uh, from from the very beginning. So we wanted to to let them let them see kung sino sino Nito Donaire and and Rachel Donaire. So that's something yeah. that I wanted to give to them. Looking forward to that. I'm going to watch some of your past so, so, can you tell us who you have coming up next? Well, right now we, um, is uh, we're we're setting up a a crypto a crypto um, cryptocurrency um, uh, guest, and and we're putting pulling in um, the best in the crypto world. You know, again, the crypto king, and then um, getting in like the, the crypto YouTubers na talagang may influence sa crypto. Um, so stuff like that, and we just we're just bringing in people. The best people that we can to uh to give them the you know, the the knowledge and the understanding kung ano yung crypto kasi pag hindi natin nalalaman eh parang uh nagtatakot tayo mag mag uh, magbibigay ng investment or or nagbibigay ng ba, ng ng pera or mag-invest ng pera so at, at least may bibigay ko sa kanila the understanding kung ano yung crypto currency that's nice so when do you upload your videos when is the usual schedule para maabangan well, right now we're setting up the schedule po at uh, it'll be live for, for the people uh, to see. Uh, so yun po ang ginagawa namin is to set up the best possible knowledge that we can give to our people. Oh nga, but the next episode I think is yung uh, the live commentary for Sultan on Saturday. Yeah, so we will we will also that uh, do the live commentary uh, on the fight just to, to give them ano yung thoughts and, and ideas for or ang nakikita ko pag, pag nanonood ako ng boxing. So, stuff like that. But, yeah, nga. it's so interesting. Ilang beses na rin tayo nakikama sa commentary panel. And of course, we have the the award-winning coach there, Rachel Donaire. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, diba? 
That's yeah. good. I'm gonna I'm gonna start looking for that. Beyond the Ring with Rachel and Nonito. Yes. Well, okay, Raymart, uh, balikan natin yung laban. <clears throat> yung last fight ni Nonito Danaire, tinawag siya ng mga boxing writers ng isang modern great. Napatulog niya si Nordine Ubali. Napakagandang laban. Nap napakagandang panalo ni Nonito Danaire. Yung kanyang left hook, palagay ko, is one of the most dangerous punches in the history of the Bantamweight division. Paano mo ngayon paghahandaan si Nonito Danaire? Paano mo paghahandaan yung kanyang left hook? Anong gagawin mo sa loob ng ring pag na nasa harap ko na si Donaire? Tatakbuhan mo ba? Gag magiging aggressive ka ba? Papasukin mo siya? Anong plano mo? Nakadepende na po siguro, sir, pag nasa, nasa ring na po. Oh. Basta, 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 um, basta, susuntok din po ko. <laughs> ano? Basta manununtok din po ko. <laughs> JC, ikaw naman, what do you think Raymond can or should do? To win the title from Nonito Danaire. Um, kasi dalawang dalawang magaling na boxer, especially um Nonito, sa legend na din. And but um, I'm pretty sure and I'm confident uh Raymond's gonna win because he's, of his youth. So that's what he should use his youth. Because he's 25 years old in his prime, and um, I think that's that's the, the key for him for the para manalo. JC, you told me once that this is Raymard's time. Do you believe that on December 11, it will be his time to become the new WBC Bantamweight champion? Of course, uh, 100%. Um, it's a long time that I've been fighting with Raymard. So, as uh, long years, long years, I've seen that na how he trains, how he works, how di disciplined is he. Yeah, so um, December 11, that, that would uh, be his time. Lahat ng hard work niya ay for sure lalabas doon. As a question to Donito Danaire at this point, um, you're fighting against the Filipino. He's saying that it's his time. Um, in the six world championship fights involving Filipinos against Filipinos, there has never been a knockout. When you go up in the ring, against Raymard Gabalio. Are you thinking of knocking him out? Or because he is a fellow Filipino, you'll just want to outbox him, don't make him look too bad, and win the fight on on points. What's your take on that? Uh, wala pa ako masabi when it comes down to that kasi this is the first time talaga na nakakalaban ako ng Filipino sa loob ng ring uh, na, na, na ganitong kalaki. Um, so for that, uh, usually naman po ay kahit magkaibigan kami sa mga, mga kalabang ko like katulad ni Arce, uh, ni, ni Frampton, um, kahit kahit magkaibigan kami, um, todo po talaga ang binibigay namin. At saka parang habit na po kasi talaga yun na, na for so many years yun po ang talagang nasa isip ko is for a knockout. Yun lang po talaga ang nasa isip ko every single time. And it's very difficult to stray away from what you already know. So yun po ay, ay, ay um, I mean, even with Ubale, magkaibigan po kami ni Ubale, uh, tinulungan ko siya ng magsparing to get his title dati, you know, at uh, nung pumunta sila dito. And again, uh, yun nga, is, is, sa loob ng ring po, eh, wala, kasing, wala kasing personalan yung loob ng ring. It's like, you turn into a different person. At least for me, iba yung taong dumalaban sa loob ng ring. Walang, walang kapatid, walang, Walang kaibigan, walang, wala po, yun lang po talaga is parang robot na on a mission na po. At, um, at uh, yun lang talaga. And again, I got the biggest respect for uh, for uh, for Raymart because I think na being the youth of the Philippines and will be the future of the Philippines as well. Um, so uh, yun lang nga is, is uh, ang nasa loob lang po ng ring is, is, um, is a habit that I've, that I've created for so many years. Nonito, your goal as a world champion right now, is to unify the bantamweight championship. You want to be the undisputed world bantamweight champion. But that means 
facing off against Inoue again, perhaps somewhere down the road, John Real Casimero. What are your hopes? What are your dreams beyond this fight against Gabalio? Is it going to be Inoue next? Will it be Casimero next? And how is this new organization called Probellum going to help in making you realize your dream? Well, for me, ang iniisip ko lang talaga is si Raymard Caballo yung uh, yung main focus ko po at uh, wala po akong iniisip na sino yung makakalaban ko sa susunod. Ang ino-focus ko lang is is how I can beat uh, Raymard. Ano yung gagawin ko kailangan na mananalo ako. So wala po akong focus na iba-iba except sa Ray- si Raymard lang po ang 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 nasa focus ko ngayon. And of course, Probellum uh, the, the 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 best um st- the best promotion out there na na maibibigay may yung lahat ng gusto ng mga boksingero if they can dream it and can live it gagawin nila yung yung uh, yung makakaya nila and of course as you mentioned in as i mentioned in my in my in my uh, in my channel na problem is coming uh, for for the countries and in, in the philippines uh, through me na na ma, maibibigyan yung mga promotion ng support yung mga promoters sa Pilipinas na masuportahan sila financially so that makikita ng mga tao uh, sa buong mundo kung gaano kagaling yung mga Filipino boxers but um, that's of course Probellum's idea of 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 becoming um, one of the greatest promotion in the world by allowing up and supporting promotion from every country um, to deal with or to 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 co-promote um, with with the uh, with the particular promotions from countries, Rachel, uh, um, listening to June talk about Pramelum and his future plans, I'm almost seeing that it's a career path for not only June Donaire but also for you. Beyond June's fighting years, do you see his career opening up to become a promoter, um, an inspiration to young talent? To become world champion someday, is this is this a, a career path you're seeing beyond the ring? I think that um, he's always wanted to uh, be an inspiration for the youth. Uh, that's one of his biggest um, passions. At uh, with Probellum, of course, uh, see Richard Schaefer. He's always um, looking for ways to make sure that Nonito's um, that he has a purpose after Jung Jung. Young fight game. At uh, as far as I'm concerned, um, we haven't really super talked about you know managing other fighters. Because um, as you can see in young game, it is really difficult. So um, that's not. I don't know. It's not something we've talked about yet. Yeah. We're just focusing on young young fight first. Okay, Diane. Any final questions before we we wrap this up? The young, you're in mute. <laughs> I just wanted to get some final words from Rachel because she usually sees things, you know, with a with a really good eye. So I want to get her, you know, her thoughts, her predictions, and what she steps to need to be able to prepare for a 25 year old, hungry, strong fighter like Robert. Um. I mean, we've talked about it, but we haven't really sat down. I've watched the tapes now. At C. Raymond is a really, you know, he's a very strong puncher. At uh, he's, you know, his his knockout reel is amazing. Um, at uh, it, he reminds me of when Nonito was younger with the amount of punches he throws. Um, at uh, we are just honing in on the experiences of his mistakes when he was younger at um, hoping to capitalize on anything that we see as far as that. But he hasn't seen um, the breakdowns that I've already uh, put together for him. Robert, what do you want to say to Nonito before your laban? Raymart. Ah, Raymart? What do you want to say? sabihin sa idol mo na makakalaban mo? Ano po? Um, good luck po sa aming dalawa. Saka, basta, 
God bless po. <laughs> All right. What about uh, what about JC? Maybe you can invite the uh, the viewers to tune in and where they're going to be able to to watch the fight. It's a showtime, ba? Uh, yeah, it's uh it's on showtime and um you know it's happening me Raymart and happening me uh Nito na you know it's a Filipino Filipino match so every, hopefully uh everyone will support both of them and uh may the best man win and uh, hopefully the kabilang din sila magandang laban. All right, so maybe before you go before we let them go, we can ask them Kenito to do a virtual face. Like that. Well, let me let me say this as well, uh, Diane. Um, I just want to say ahead. thank you to JC and Raymart Caballo for giving honor as a Filipino. No, now it's not about trash talking. It's about appreciating what we have, and and may the best man win. This is what's supposed to be. Dapat ganito yung mga Pilipino nagrerespetuhan sa isa't isa. Hindi yung magta trash talk. Kasi sa sa loob ng ring gagawin namin naman namin lahat na magagawa namin. Eh. Kung sino man yung mananalo matalo supportado pa rin kami at uh, at least for me that's that's how i am at uh, may bibigay ko lang talaga is is the big respect for Raymart at nagpapasalamat ako na he is a stand up guy and JC for for creating a fighter like Raymart you know salute saludo ako sa inyo for for creating an amazing fighter na ma 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 ma, 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 ma proud so tayo no ma, ma, that we can be proud of because Nandun yung puso ng Pilipino eh. Hindi tayo hindi tayo Amerikano eh. Hindi tayo mas mahilig sa mga ganun-ganun eh. And for me, malaking bagay sa akin 'yun. And this is why I can respect Raymart and JC for this effort. And 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 definitely made the best man win, but regardless of it all, saludo po ako sa inyo lahat. Thank you for that for for this amazing uh um this amazing face to face with respect. This is why boxing is the gentleman sport because you have two guys respecting each other but going after each other inside the ring so thank you guys for that at hindi lang yun um, as you mentioned uh, June Dunaire kanina this is a win win kung sino yes. man manalo ang Pilipino pa din ang, okay. uh, ang ang mananalo dito sa laban whether it's June Dunaire or Raymart Gabalio and very well said uh, yes. our WBC bantamweight champion well, respect is what this fight game is all about and for Raymart Gabalio, maganda rin yung mga sinabi mo, Raymart. Uh, Nakaka-inspire. Um, inamin mo na idolo mo si Donaire, pero ibibigay mo ang lahat sa loob ng ring because ang pakiramdam mo, eto na ang oras para ikaw ay maging kampiyon. Napakaganda. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong dalawa. Um, yung respeto at saka yung admiration ninyo sa isa't isa, eh, very inspiring talaga. JC, Rachel, June, and Raymart, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong, sa inyong lahat. Um, this was a historic face-off. And Diane, earlier you were mentioning you want to have a virtual yes. face-off. How do, how do we do <laughs> that? <laughs> okay, yeah. tapos si June naman. Boy, that's wonderful. So yeah. We need to take a picture of this. Yeah. Wow, okay. this is the first time. Here we go. All right, perfect. Yeah. Guys, best of luck to you. JC Rachel. Thank you, thank you, Idol. Sige, ayo ayo Mar Remart. Uh training lang isa to at uh do we'll do our best, our best, you know. Uh kung sa may may tabo, uh we'll support each other. Um and hopefully uh makatabang put ang problem with uh JC as well. So you know, uh, yun nga, uh, good luck na lang sa ato ang dua, and we'll do our best. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Kaya. Jesse, yeah, salamat, yeah. Kaya. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Whether you're someone who loves working out and taking part in different sports, or a person who prefers to look and feel good, playitright.com has something for you. Playitright.com is a one-stop shop that provides the needs of serious athletes and stylish individuals, featuring well-known and respected brands like Asics, Molten, Mikasa, Mueller, Don Joy, Butterfly, and countless others. Playtright.com offers premium products at reasonable prices, so no need to look elsewhere. 
Check out playwright.com now in the link below. Well, Leanne, you know, that was historic. We've never had a face-off before between yeah. two fighters who are going to go up against each other um, in about a month's time. But uh, Donaire agreed. Gabalio agreed. I think it's the first time that both these fighters got to talk to each other, even virtually. Yeah, and I actually love the respect that they showed for each other, especially Nonito. It really shows uh, what uh, what a great mindset he has, no, and his desire to really, you know, of course he wants he has to beat uh, Gabalio, but he also look in the end he was actually even encouraging him like, oh, mag training lang tayo, basta may the best man win. So I'm super excited to see how you know the matchup, you know, 25 year old versus. 38 years old. I mean, Gabalio, a man of few words, as he, as we saw there. Pero, uh, yun ang mga dangerous, eh, di ba? Yung mga hindi masyadong nagsasalita. They keep it all in the inside. And, yun, sabi nga niya, buhos lahat. But, of course, we know Donaire, he never goes to a fight unprepared. And I think he's, he's really a, a lot more confident now. And he's very settled and... Amazingly, he's so motivated and still wants to get better, improve his physical condition. Of course, his discipline is a major thing with Rachel there on his side. So I think it should be a pretty explosive fight. I think so too. And Donaire did say that his mindset is when entering the ring, to fight is to go for a knockout. And whether it's a Filipino or a Mexican or whatever, he's going to go inside the ring. And he did say... He's like a robot inside the ring. He doesn't care about friends or what outside the ring, but inside the ring, it's a war. And you can expect that from Donaire. And on the other side of the fence, Diane, I was quite surprised pleasantly when JC Mananquil said, hey, it's Raymard's time, 100%. He's going to go out there and win the championship. So this makes for a very, very interesting clash. It might be the first time in history the two Filipinos would be fighting in a world championship fight where the outcome will be enough. Yeah. Wow. Well, December 11, uh, maybe Carson City, they said it's not yet uh, super set, but it looks like that's going to be the venue. So thank you again for joining us here on Play It Right, where we talk to list on the greatest in sports. I'm Diane Castillejo. And this is Kinito Hanson. And we are here to always play it right. Play it right. <laughs>